name's Grandad. Yeah, Daddy will have to take that, take that one. What is it called? Yeah, the cards. Two little down there, can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back in the bedroom, <laughs> and uh, just nice place to be, though. Yeah, I might have a little nap. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we've delayed doing the ceiling in the bedroom because uh, we well thought, the whole boat really. We yeah, was going to not do the ceilings because of the solar panels, and we were trying to decide. We've decided on what solar panels we're having now, and basically. The solar panels we're having, there's no cables that are actually going to come through in the bedroom. So that's the reason it was delayed because we thought at some point there might be a cable coming through the roof, but there isn't. So we can now get on with getting the ceiling in the bedroom lined out. So yeah. first step again is we're going to do some more <laughs> foil wrapping. <laughs> but, but once we've uh, done this and uh, then the bathroom yeah. ceiling, that's it, no more. No more foil. Is it? Yeah, it's the end. So yeah, we was just, uh, it's just trying to get this shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure off a piece and then have a seam, seam about where those lights are. So about 900 to there. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off at 900, staple, staple, staple it there, and then trim the edges off to suit. Yeah, we've still got a few. I've noticed I haven't trimmed all these off. Um, oh, I and that. again, if you haven't seen any of our, our other videos, we fill all the holes that the screws touch any metal. So they go through the... Um, rib, it? Yeah, roof, rib go rib. through the roof rib. Um, and then we've sealed all those because you do get water around those. We saw it last year because we did those in the winter last year. We saw actually how much water like comes through from that. Yeah, it just sort of bleeds from, through. From the it? steel, yeah. Bleeds through from the steel and what's the word again? I can't think of the word. Uh, thermal bridging. Yeah, thermal bridging. So anyone doing a boat, make sure any any screws that you put through the steel seal the tops up so no air can get to them. Yeah, because you do find like little teardrops of condensation if yeah. you on them, don't you? And if we'd put the wood ceiling up before we did any of that, then uh, we would have had wet patches in them areas. Didn't do it on all the places, but it just did it on certain Same areas, one. didn't it? Yeah, you only need a few of those, don't Yeah, it? that's it. So, yeah. 
cut that off to that. So, see you in a minute. <laughs> and all right. That light's for our chandelier for AD to swing on. <laughs> <laughs> With my back. <laughs> you ain't got far to fall though. Just miss a clip on. So more taping. Mm. More taping. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I've got a towel hanging up at the door, um, it's because we've got our wire for our lights and our battery box coming through the door, so we can't quite shut the door properly. So there's a real draft. Oh, then they're, they're what are called towelton's. <laughs> Apparently all good lava boats these days have Towtons. We've, we've got Towtons. Let's stop the draft there. Yeah. We're putting the cladding on the ceiling now. And Aidy's got the lovely job of stretching. Yeah, there you go. That's your job, cutting. And I'll go down and cut the angle. Bye. Next one. Do I take that long, kind of? Yeah, I've had 40 weeks. <laughs> it's the angles. It's a different angle on each side slightly. The angle the dangle. Great. I'm really glad we've chose to go that way. Yeah, I was just laying, that's why I was laying down looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> just looking at the pattern. Yeah, it's going to look nice. Yeah. No cardboard this time because I've found my little oh, yeah. foot. It was in the safe plate. <laughs>
Put your tongue away, Bishop. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> <sighs> So we can, that's the centre of the mushroom, isn't it? Yeah. So if we put that on there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just we'll say this out loud. That's for the centre of that. And the centre of the mushroom. That way. Is about. There. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. I can't see from here. <laughs> so, if we put them, this is just a scrap piece, but if we put yeah. that, we can't see it. If we put that piece, if we put the ne that piece onto there, yeah? It's because it's not because it's only a short bit of yeah. then but that on the next board it's got to be the middle there right yeah and it's also got to be in line with that there so that's going to give us that center line that way yeah yeah then if you put the whole board after we've marked once we've marked them off we can use this as a mark at either end of that. Say this is the board that's up. Mm. We can then put this on it, mark that line, so we know that that's where the centre of the mushroom is going to come. And then when we put the board, the whole board up, we can draw that pencil line onto the board, so that that line will come across, that line will come up, and it will give you a, a centre of where the mushroom is going to be. Mm. Or... Oh, <laughs> right. We just go on the roof, take the mushroom off, and draw a circle round. Yeah. <laughs> come on, you want to go on the roof then? <laughs> it's a bit wet today. Mm. I can go on the roof and try and do it through there. Well, I don't know whether these mushrooms tape, you know, inwards, do you think? It looks like they do, you know. Not with my eyes. But it looks like they, they start off yeah. and they go to. A, yeah. Does that make a difference? I wonder if you draw the old. Well, I don't know if I can get a. Um, I can't even speak today. Pencil down the old. Draw an outline, I suppose. Mm. And then you just make the hole in the middle of a. Shall we do that? With Try a that? drill. And then, and then make the diameter that you need. Yeah. Go on the roof then. <laughs> I'll go on the roof. I'll film it. All right. He's doing it my way. Your way, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and he's gone on the roof. Got away with it. <laughs> Action. Nice hole. Yep. <laughs> right, we're going to show you the uh, how we get the ducting into the roof of the boat. This is a four inch pipe coupling. And what I've done is I've just cut off the 
male they've got like two male sides uh, so I've cut off one of the male sides on there um, smoothed it off and then that's and that gonna fit inside the duct in the reason for that is so that uh, it gives it a bigger surface area when we push it into the roof of the boat so when we apply the sealant to that it's it's got more of an area if you like to actually fasten onto or stick onto the roof of the boat so it may be worth marking where the joints are so we know where it is when we pull it back in And then if you mark this side, starboard, just an S. We might just have to cut this now, aren't we? Yeah. So now I'm just going <coughs> to cut this off so we know that's the right length to go. Yeah, so it should be a bit of a wavy line really. Not too not much as what I thought. But... No. It's quite a level there though. Isn't yeah. It? Very but... fixed levels out, isn't it? <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to multi tool that out now. And then clean the edges up and that can go in. Yeah. And take a while to uh, fill all these holes up, knock them in, and fill them up. Yeah. Got much choice, no, and I'm glad we've done them on both on both sides because uh, stop any cupping. So with this one, we've just got to forfeit the spray foam. Loads of sick of flex into that. So there's a big thick bead on there and then squeeze the duct, duct in with the pipe straight onto that. Yeah. And then anything that oozes out, when it's all gone off and I, take, I can take the top off the mushroom and just trim it back with a Stanley from the outside. Yeah. OB1, which is the CT one. 
Yeah, so we're using that stuff. Job done. Job done. It's, what, what is it, Sikaflex? Yeah, it's it's the equivalent of Sikaflex. It's from Screwfix, isn't it? Instead of being CT1, it's OB1, which is it's the same bleeding stuff, isn't it? Right. And we're using that to stick this plastic thing <clears> in. <throat> Whereas on the other mushrooms, we just spray foam from the roof and then stuck it up. But we don't know if that's really... As an afterthought, we thought really we should put it a sealant on it as well. Yeah. So we're going to, on the other mushrooms, we're going to put some butyl tape or something as well as the spray foam. But this one we're going to try just using the Sikaflex. We'll see which one works. Best. Yeah. yeah. Right, do that. Yep. Make sure you line it up, Aid, the S onto the... Ready? Yep. That's all splurged down there. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's what I want. It's how you keep I it. I think we need to just put a bit more on that edge there, H, before we all stick right. it up. that's all sealed um, and the reason why we're putting these plastic things in and that we're sealing it up really good is the amount of condensation that runs down the mushroom and down yeah. the side without us having our ceilings up we've actually seen how much the insulation gets water running down it so yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want any any liquid touching that or running like down the back of there going down the back of there and under the under here don't we? No. no. So that's going to obviously anything that's any rain or whatever that comes anything that comes through there is going to come into the boat, which is not ideal, but it's better than it going behind. The other, yeah, other option, isn't it? Really? Yeah. And then once this is all sealed, once this is all set, sorry, I'm just going to put a bead of sealant all the way around there as well. Yeah. So this it's all, you know, it's, it's sealed. Sealed. Up. Yeah. Good. More rolls. More rolls. You're back in your little hole again, eh? Oh no. You haven't been there for a while. No, no I've missed it. Oh, oh sorry. I stabbed you. No. 
You punch me on the chin. <laughs> Mm. Is that intentional or? No, of course not, dear. I'll just put a couple of pennies in there. And then up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good job I'm slim, isn't it? You should allow the couple of foot to make a little den for a room. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Don't rest anything on top of a wardrobe that There's hasn't no got top a on. top on. Oh. Mm. And again, you've got the hole you can get it through down here. Yeah. That's a handy little hole. Oh, right. Just in case anybody hasn't seen us do this. Mm. Everyone be switching off now and yeah. unsubscribing. Yeah. <laughs> we lost a lot of su uh, uh, subscribers last week. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Fly, in the <laughs> Fly in the kitchen obviously weren't that friend. <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh well. This is why. That's the thing with doing a boat, doing an hour boat, it's repetitive, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of stuff is repetitive. It's like when you show a video, it's painted and stuff, isn't it? It's just... But most of it is the painting. Yeah, it's the, part of it, but I know what to say, it's not the most interesting, is it? But no. we could watch it all day. <laughs> what, foiling? Painting, watching paint dry. <laughs> Foil fetish. There's probably a website for it somewhere. <laughs> in fact, it's, I know there is. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. You could start your own. I'll show you a link in the top of the screen. <laughs> yeah. To my other channel. Foilfetish.com. Yeah. I'll just see a little gap there. Even if you didn't, you put a bit there. Yeah. There you go. Wicked. That's good. Happy less. That's not a good place to hold it. I've always been health and safety conscious. <laughs> I just hold my nail gun between me. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Yeah. Right. <coughs> oh. Right, I'm going to push the wardrobe forward then. We've emptied it so it's a bit lighter. And I'm going to. You nod your head and I'll let her. <laughs> You've used that one before. Have I? There you go. Sorry, I can't help you if I let go of the. I've got one hand holding the wardrobe. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, put one in the middle. The, the sides might need pushing up a little bit. Put one in there first. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, just stuck. Wardrobe stuck on it. Is the hammer thumping stick somewhere? Last bit. More pencil line there. That's where it needs to finish. That cut that's coming mm. out there. Take it below there, like you yeah. can set it up against this wall. Monk it in there. Yeah. So you're just marking the edge with it? Yeah, this is all going to be waste on here then. Yeah. When it's flipped over. Down. And then we go the same there. Oops, sorry. It's alright. Yeah. Is that yeah. about on the line there? Yeah. Yeah, but I see it a little bit further down. That's waste there. So if we join them two lines up, yeah. it should we'll give us the right cut. We've not clipped these ones up to give it a little bit of leeway to push in. I've got time to stick a bit of paint on, on this edge. Yeah. Just a couple of coats. Yeah. Yeah. Just prise uh, that in there. Hey, that's gone in. Yep. Nail it, Joanna. Yeah. 